like that. I'm a hero now. Wherever it is. That's like another dump to me. We've only been here 10 seconds. Yeah, twice as long as the last place. Kids, don't start. It's not bad. Yeah, well, we're not blaming moving again, all right? I don't care what this place is like. Earl, I don't think anyone's got a problem with that. I'm just saying. Well, don't. And if we're staying, you might as well give us hand with his bags. Oi! I'll take that one. <laughs> you too, Denzel, come on. I'm charging you 50 quid because you got sick on the seat. Oh, I told you I don't have 50 quid. Look, you can see we had to leave in a bit of a hurry. That's not my problem, love. I've got to earn me living. I know, but I don't know what to do for the best. I've got some birthday money left, Mum. No, it's all right, sweetheart. No. Just take it. Well, I'll pay you back. Sorry. It's all we've got. No, you're right. It don't matter. No, no, you should take it. No, you obviously need it more than I do. Earl, it's okay, I've got this, all right? No, I'm not having some potsy cabby thinking we're some sort of charity case. All right. Where are you going? I'm not done with you. Earl, stop it, you are. Need. Apologize now. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get off him. Come Earl. 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 I will not no. say that again. Now, what's going on here? And do you? I'm the head of the school. Who the hell are you? Your worst nightmare. Earl! I'm sorry about this. We just had a little... I, I'm here to enrol the kids in school. Enrol... Um, I don't... That's made your day, hasn't it, love? Look, I just need to no know... worry. I want to be at your poxy school about as much as you want me here. Is there a problem? Yeah, five of them. I should have known when that's where to bring them in. Typical flaming Waterloo Road. They should have let this place burn to the ground. Shut up and get this vehicle off school property. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, let's get inside and sort this mess out, yeah? And I mean all of you. Come on. <laughs> oh, boy, just Is that looks like a toe nail? No, 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 you can be. I'm telling you straight, I spoke to the woman in the council office. I sent you all the right paperwork. I'm sure of it. Why else would I be here? No, we're really sorry, but maybe you could try again tomorrow. No! I need you to... Look! I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, I realise that. I can't win. When I kept him out of school, you threatened to put me inside. Now, first thing I do when I get here is bring him to school. OK, um, why don't I go to my office? Let's see what we can do. Thank you. Come on, you lost. Uh, can you give us a hand with the little one? Uh, are you sure you can manage all that? It's heavier than it looks. Uh, are you OK, mate? Yeah, it's just everyone's staring at us like we're some sort of freaks. Why are you just trying to work out who the fit new lads are? <laughs> you mean the fit new lad in his scroty bubble? <laughs> Come on, let's get this over, all right? We'll be fine. Now, Kelly's, this is what we do. And then some. Done well today, Lewis. Natural salesman, like your uncle. Cheers, Auntie Jim. When's he getting out? <laughs> who knows? But we're going to do him proud, right? Because I reckon it's time for the next course. Sure you sound with that, Lewis? Of course he is. He's a seven. MDMA. Oh, sick. Now, we start small, yeah? Only to guys you can trust. There'll be dozens of people in there that'll be wanting this gear. Now, you do well on this one for us. There's going to be a lot of opportunity coming your way. Proper money, Lewis. Party time. A little extra there for you, Mike. You sold your last burger, mate. Is that right? And before you start chanting on again, I've got a license to trade, I'm on public land, supplying the demands of the public. To do one. Come on. Quickly, come on.
Welcome to the big time, Lewis. Did well today, Lewis. Should have had you with us before. I think we should have a little celebration. Because pretty soon, we're going to be running bands to every school in Rochdale. Morning, miss. Morning, sir. Good day for it. And you are? Finn Sharkey. I start today. Lucky old Waterloo Road, eh? Lucky old me if all the teachers look like you. Well, not you, obviously. What? Um, Finn, it, 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 it's very nice to meet you, but just a word of advice. Mr. Budgeon doesn't take too kindly to smart Alex, so keep your distance, at least till he's had his morning brew. Thanks, miss. Sir? Another term, another gobby git to break. On you and all. Who are you? The new boy, Finn. Finn? What kind of name is that? Irish or something. So what brings you to Watley Road? I got kicked out of my school, didn't I? Come to think of it, the one before that, and the one before that as well. Right, so you bad news then? Well, I just don't like school. Yeah, I nearly got excluded last year myself. Won't be going there again. Hey, Ames. Hey, Siobhan. Good holiday? Yeah. It's every girl in the school, babe. Who's that? His name's Finn. He got excluded from his last school. Oh, great, man. What are you doing? Oi, who said you could join us? You look like you need some help, mate. It's not only him who's crap, you couldn't dribble through an open door, mate. I'll show you. <laughs> You ball back, boys. Hey! What's going on? Hey! Mr. Mead! Oh my god. You're looking well, old sir. Uh, you want to keep that mouth of your shut, Sharky? Oh, we're going to eat my breakfast now. <laughs> Who are you? Finn Sharky. We go back. I knew, I don't recognise your name. My parents called in there. They've sorted it out. No, they didn't. Oh. Just take him to my office and get rid of that ball. It's like you're looking at your new striker, boys. My dad wants me to be professional. Yeah, well, so does mine, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? I got him kicked out of the first school that I taught him. He wasn't happy. Well, that doesn't surprise me. So, he set fire to my car. Except I couldn't prove it. Well, so you don't know it was definitely him then? Oh, no, I know. Look, Rachel, that kid is trouble. If we can avoid taking him, then we should. Surely it can't be that bad, Chris. Who's that? So, what do you think of your new hangout, then? It's brilliant, sir. It's welcome. Oh, sir, it's the nicest room in the school. Well, this is a man you've got to thank for it all, Mr Aspinall. So why don't some of you from Fairview School introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Daniel Foxton. Katie Peel. Paul Barrowcroft. Marie Sugden. Emily Dyson. Abigail Wadsworth. You got a tongue in your head? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, use it then. For anything in particular? I asked you to introduce yourself. Actually, strictly speaking, you asked the pupils from Fairview to introduce themselves. I'm from Kingsmere College. <laughs> There's always one pain in the backside, isn't there? I think I'd better introduce him. This is my son, Brett Aspinall. Proof how much I'm committed to bringing the best to this school. I left Kingsmere because I wanted to. Brett, is it? We'll have a catch up later, Brett. I thought you were jammy maker, having your mum and your mum's boyfriend being teachers here. Sure. 
Well, fancy having your dad run the place. Look, can we not even talk about my dad? He's an embarrassment to me. Don't worry. I know what you mean. I've got to go to work. <laughs> no, really. Money boss stars today. Shame. Yeah. It is. Can you let yourself out when you're ready? And will you give me a call? Yeah, well. In you go. A lemon, eh? Give it time. Which brings me around to telling you about the things that are going to change this year. That's what you all want to hear about, isn't it? The cooler. It's gone. It does not exist anymore. You all approve of that, but perhaps I should point out that in future all troublemakers will be sent to me. Because if you're causing trouble in my school, I want to know why, and you will explain yourselves to me. Not that there is ever any excuse for violent, disruptive, or disrespectful behaviour. No excuse whatsoever. Which is why there is another new rule. Three strikes and you are out. The first time you are violent, disruptive or disrespectful, you'll be suspended from school for two weeks. The second time, you'll be suspended for three weeks. And if you are stupid enough to do it a third time, you'll no longer be welcome at my school. So I hope I've made myself perfectly clear and I'm sure it won't stop us having an enjoyable term at Waterloo Road. Does anyone have any questions? Good. Then let's make a start. Do you want one? I've told you about this before. What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't talk to me like that. <sighs> Why didn't you come home this morning? Because I didn't want to. It's not about what you want, is it? I need to know where you were last night. I sent Dad a text message, right? That's not good enough. I honestly don't see what your problem is. Angela's mum said that... Angela, you were at Angela's last night, were you? Yeah. OK, so can you just leave me alone, please? We'll talk about this later. <sighs> Whatever. Nice shoes, yeah. 